Hello YouTube, welcome to my uh, advanced redstone tutorial. This will be a progression from my uh, previous two videos which were on the basic concepts of redstone. If you uh, don't understand how redstone works, I'd advise you to go and watch this. There'll be a link in the description. Um, this video will be mainly teaching about logic gates. Uh, logic gates are used in real life in computing uh, to perform the basic binary um, the binary operations for your computer. Um, using these very basic logic gates you uh, can create ALUs and CPUs etc. So yeah, let's uh, let's begin. The um, the first was well, not a logic gate, but yeah, the first um, yeah thing is uh, is called an inverter. Um, it takes the input and flips it, and then shows it as the output. So the output is uh, the input is off, and the output is on. The input is on, and the output is off. Okay. The first very uh, simple uh, logic gate is called the OR gate. <coughs> Sorry. It works by um, if either of the inputs is on, the output will be on. Okay, there we go. Very, very simple to make. It's just um, two blocks with um, levers on them connected. Uh, I will be doing a video for each, uh, an individual video for each logic gate. So, um, yeah, which will explain in much more detail how to build them and how they work. Okay, the next logic gate is called a NOR gate. It is um, also very simple. It's just an OR gate with an inverter. So, um, if either of the outputs are on, the out uh, either the inputs are on, the output will be off. As you can see, and if both of them are, if both of the inputs are on, the output will be off. So yeah, it's just the uh, the R gate with an inverter. Also, uh, the inverter is also called a NOT gate. If, uh, yeah. Uh, the next is an AND gate. <coughs> uh, this works um, by uh, if both of the inputs are on, the output will be off. Uh, will be on. Sorry. Obviously. Um, but if just one of the inputs are on, the output will be off. Uh, this is also very simple. But you must remember, on the AND gate, you need to have the inverter here. So yeah, you build it like that. The next is the uh, NAND gate, which is um, just the opposite of the AND gate. So it's the it's the AND gate without the inverter. This works if um, either of the input, uh, if both of the inputs are on. The output will be off. Okay, these uh, two next designs are boosters. There's no real need for them now. Um, now notches um, created uh, repeaters, uh, but yeah, because they just uh, increase the signal. Um, how this one works is uh, just um, takes the input, inverts it, inverts it again. And then uh, it shows us the output. Stupid ring. Okay. So as you can see, um, no, the the second design of the booster is pretty much the same thing, just uh, clearer to see. Is just one inverter and another inverter. So yeah, yeah. Another way in create. It's kind of like a booster, is um, like this. Uh, this um, instead of just uh, these two blocks will increase the the um, the length of the redstone by two. Obviously, normally it will be able to travel um, fifteen, but now it'll be able to travel seventeen. Uh, if you see what I mean. Um, and the good thing it doesn't increase any more delay using the blocks. Just the uh, 
just the delay used, uh, delay from the repeater. Okay, um, back to the logic gates. <coughs> um, the next logic gate is called an XR gate, um, or an or properly named uh, exclusive R gate. It is um, very similar to the R gate, as you can imagine. Um, if uh, if one of the inputs is on, the output will be on. But if both of them are on, the output will be off. That's where it differs from the R gate. The next is the uh, XNOR gate, which is, and uh, yeah, pretty obviously I'm going to be the opposite of the XR gate, which is uh, just the uh, the XR gate with a invert at the end. Um, so yeah, if if um, either of the inputs is on, the output will be off. If both of them are on, the output will be on. This next design is um, much more compact, a much more compact XR gate. As you can see, this is a bit bulky, and you wouldn't want to have to create that every time. This is much smaller, designed as so. Uh, yeah, I will be going through this in much more detail than in in, in an individual um, video. So yeah, uh, that's that one, and this is a more compact XNOR which is just uh, just the same with the uh, invert at the end. Um, these two designs can be like interchanged. You can either use the blocks here or you can use the um, torches on top. Okay. Uh, the next um, logic gate, well, yeah, logic gate is uh, called an RS null latch. It is um, used in uh, Using ALUs and C, well CPUs as RAM, well as a RAM cell. Uh, you can either use this or a D flip flop, which I'll be explaining later. Basically, it works by if you flick a button. Oh, sorry. Uh, um, okay, set this up. This uh, this is on at the moment. If you flick a button, this will now be off. If you flick it again, nothing will happen. Uh, unless you press the other button, which will then change this to be off instead. Very, very easy to make, as so. Okay, we we'll move on to the uh, the complicated uh, two now: the T flip flop and the D flip flop. Um, the T flip flop is uh, is you um, uh, yeah is used. Uh, to change a button into a lever. So um, I'll show you what this means. Uh, normally a button would um, simply provide an output for a short period of time. And you can see it goes on and then off again. But what a T flip flop does is um, when you press the button it will work as a lever so um, uh, the output will stay like that until it's pressed again. Okay, it stays as it is, and then yeah. Okay, um, this is quite complicated, so yeah, I'll obviously have to do another video. Uh, basically, it works by this um, this L shape here, and this here is a signal shortener. So um, when you press the button, if you just watch. Um, this bit of redstone right here, it will flash off for a very short period of time. That's what that does. So um, yeah, so that's ju that's just a signal sharpener. Uh, and um, how we like saves it uh, is just by using the RS null latch. So this, 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 and this. This um, like square here. This is just your basic RS null latch. Um, so that's how it like saves, um, so yeah, saves it. Uh, and the rest of the um, the rest of the blocks are just like helpful pieces which are required to build the rest of the circuit. So this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. Um, they're basically just inverters. 
but use now specific ways to create the default one. Okay. Uh, sorry if I didn't explain that very well. I will explain it in much more detail. Uh, another time. Uh, finally, uh, come on to the last um, last logic gate or collection of logic gates. It's called the D flip flop. Um, okay, I'll just look up. All right. As you can see, the output is on. If I flick this switch, nothing will happen unless I press this button. As you can see now it's on. Flick the, flick the switch, nothing happens. If I press the button, it will change. Uh, this is used, uh, this is, a uh, default flop is, um, is what is used in RAM, in random access memory, in the computers that you see here, uh, people building. Uh, uh, it works, um, um, yeah, by using a iris null latch to save the, save the, um, yeah, save it, save the input, and, uh, this, these two pieces here, I used, uh, like the helpful pieces again, to, um, uh, yeah, just to complete the circuit. Um, yeah, not much more to say about that, uh, except how to build it. So yeah, I um, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this um, this tutorial, and it hasn't been too fast for you. Uh, I will be going into much more detail in later videos. Um, so yeah, please like, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.